Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So I have my hot chocolate, and let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be installing a climbing background into my hermit crab cage. And so I decided since I'm already going to be messing around with the setup, I might as well show you guys the new setup because some things have changed. So first off, I got this coconut hide. This is on the warm side of the cage. And I've been looking for a hide like that everywhere. And I finally found one. I think it's my old living things. Then we have their salt water dish, which is kind of dirty. And I have some plants clipped off of one of my fish plants in there. Then we have a vine that fell off of one of my crusted geckos plants. And then we have a hide that's like a water bowl and a hide put together. I don't know where it's from because my friend gave it to me. Then we have a climbing rod and a food dish, and then in the corner there are some extra shells for the crabs. And there is six inches of substrate. It does not look like it on this video, but I swear there is so much dirt in that tank. So I'm just going to start by taking everything out, just because I need to be able to put it on the background on, and I just felt like it would be easier to take everything out. I tried to leave the bowl in initially because the crabs were under it, and I didn't want to disturb them, but I ended up moving it in the end. So this is the background. It's by All Living Things. It's just coconut fiber, and the crabs can climb on it, so I'm hoping that they'll like that. It comes with two little pieces of what's it called? Velcro. And you're supposed to staple the Velcro into the climbing background and then of course attach it to the side of the tank. gonna just kind of line up the background with the back of the cage making sure that it's the right length and I went ahead and put the velcro on the back there and eventually I'll move the water bowl Have my sleeping beauties. The one up top is Chestnut and the one down below is Edward. All cuddled together. It was longer than I needed it to be and you could measure and everything but I'm kind of lazy so I go by the rules of estimation. So I kind of figured where I needed it to be and I made a little cut there where it needed to be cut and then I just kind of followed along doing my best to make a straight line. Let's just say my line wasn't super straight. <laughs> Once again, I just end up lining up the background, seeing if I cut it to the right length, and I did end up having to trim some excess off after lining it up again. just going to take the velcro that is meant to stick to the background and I'm going to actually attach it to the velcro that's attached to the cage so that way I can just push the background up against it and I don't have to guess where on earth the pieces of velcro are and try to match them up. I 
this background is kind of like in layers that you can pull apart, you are going to have to staple that Velcro so that way when you pull on the Velcro, you're not just going to completely pull all the layers apart from each other. we just installed the background and I did have some excess left over and I was thinking about putting it on the sides of the tank but I decided just to keep it in case there's any projects I want to do in the future. And now I'm putting everything back in. I ended up moving the crabs because I was afraid of setting their water bowl on top of them. It just made me uncomfortable even though they had dug a hole so I ended up moving them. <laughs> time I was trying so hard to get the camera to focus on, on him and it just would not but I tried my best guys I tried my best Just shaking off the towels that I put all of the crab stuff on because it has dirt all over them. So I just shake that right back into the tank. <laughs> I admit that the laws of estimation are not that great, so I still had a little excess, but I decided I was just going to push it down because I did not want to deal with having to take it out and recut it, but I think it will work out alright. And now I'm just making it nice and humid because these crabs love humidity. So, sprayed them all down, and I'm just going to put towels over the top of the cage to help keep it nice and humid in there. <laughs> And now I'm just going to plug in the heat mat that is under their tank. I think the heat mat is by Zoomed, but I cannot really remember. <laughs> final look at the tank and I'm all out of hot chocolate so I will see you guys in the next video goodbye <laughs>